Hi again, I'm testing sensorless homing and probing. This is my SKR Pro version 1.1 uh, with the TMC2209 version 1.2 from BTT. I put a bunch of heat sinks on the on the board, on the top, and even on the bottom, if you can see a bit. Okay. So let me show you the x-axis homing, uh, the z probing, and then the y homing. So this is my x-axis. I have my dual pellet extruder here, um, and I have a lever here that will stop the carriage from hitting, hitting so I'm doing X homing cool then let me back up 10 centimeters and here I put a piece of wood just to test it uh, with Z probing uh, you have to really be careful because otherwise you can damage uh, your plate. So you see the this is my heater block. There is the nozzle, and now I'm going to do a Z probing. Hit it a little bit. Uh, so let me retry again. Okay, good. Let me get up. And uh, let's do the Y honey. Okay, good. So the sensitivity is the key to get these things uh, working. And I had uh, for X and Y at 60, while the Z for probing uh, I had a 76. But I tested with different uh, TMC2209 drivers and I found a different values. So my guess is depending on the silicon quality of the driver because, because they are not the same. And I have uh, 10 different drivers. So if you set uh, the sensitivity for Z probing to a certain value and it doesn't work, just change that value, uh, you know, or going to the top or to the bottom, you know, the, the, the values are from 0 to 255 for the 2209, um, higher the value is more sensitive, so I start at 60, like the X and the Y, and then I jump to 100, it didn't work, went back to 70, didn't work, and then 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, it worked. So you should check different value. Okay, so this is my dual pellet extruder. There are two heater, heaters and uh, resistors per block. And here are, I will put the pellet inside here. There is a 5 to 1 ratio uh, gear uh, NEMA 17. 
and inside here there is a drill bit and it goes all the way down so this is aluminum but the tube here the pipe is stainless steel and the drill bit is still stainless steel also the nozzle of stainless steel because I'm I'm printing with the carbon fiber here are carbon fiber and for support I'm going to use hips so I needed to have stainless steel for the carbon fiber otherwise aluminum gets eaten out for uh, because it's very abrasive uh, carbon fiber okay hope it helps and uh, I'll see you next video when I'm going to attach here I'm going to attach two heaters per um, per module so two heater here two heater here uh, for each one extruder and then I have to attach the temper temperature um, sensors and I'm done and then I'm going to start testing for um, calibration and that's it I'll see you next video thank you